man, that was close. Perhaps taking a detour through the black market was a poor decision. Yeah, probably not my best move. So how are we doing? Shield system fully functional. Weapon systems offline. Engine systems running at 10% capacity. Hull critical. Uh, um, uh, I'll take that as an okay. Alright, let's see if we can start fixing some stuff. Hey everyone, and welcome to RimWorld. To start with, we will be playing with Perry Persistence, a modded AI storyteller, on Strive to Survive difficulty. With the minor tweak of removing accidental friendly fire, the rim is already dangerous enough as it is, we don't need anyone losing any extra legs. Additionally, we have crash landed on the rainy planet of Innards, snugly hidden within some mountains right next to the Cordoa Sea. Also, as you may have noticed, Innards is homeworld to a few pirates. Just a couple. The Federation is under attack. You and your crew were headed to reinforce the capital when things went south. Really south. It wasn't long before the entire ship came crashing down on a nearby planet. The bad news? You're surrounded by thousands of ruthless pirates. The good news? Your crew and even some supplies survived the crash. Perhaps with some luck, you could find a way off this rock. Maybe the Federation can still be saved. And with that, we have finally landed on the rim. First things first, before we go exploring this map or grabbing our guns we have here, or even running from this ancient danger which we've spawned right next to, uh, we need to take a look at our little crew and cast here, which uh, you may notice are FTL races. There are FTL mods for RimWorld, so uh, thought it was appropriate that we should throw in some FTL races here. So Slugboy, of course, uh, is a slug. As we can see here, uh, the Xenophobic Leisurely Slugs are the third rarest race in the galaxy. And then there's a whole bunch of stuff, but he's Psychic Sensitivity is 50%, uh, Toxic Sensitivity is 9%, so he's a little resistant there. Um, he's not very good at negotiations. Uh, they generate slug dew from time to time. And bad uh, social relations with non-slugs, because he hates other people. Additionally, he had if you go to bio, there's so many buttons, like, I don't know if you noticed, there's a lot of buttons. I have a lot of mods installed. Um, he, is socially, he was socially awkward as a child, and he is now a villain. He's been trained in the arts of villainy. Uh, he's a pyromaniac, because that was requested. He's also sluggish, because, uh, yeah. And he's greedy, because that's what FTL slugs are. They're very greedy. He's good at shooting melee. Um, he's terrible at mining, but he's really passionate about it for some reason. Stats are mostly random. I, d I didn't pick too much there. Uh, he's got great social, even though he is kind of, uh, kind of hates everyone. He's very intellectual. Uh, slugs are very smart with their conniving ways. Next up, we have uh, McBill, a.k.a. Um, like, Puffius. Like, what, what is the actual name? Puffius McBill McBillington. I couldn't actually fit in the entire name. I had to call off the Sir and the Third. There was too many characters. Um, he's an NG, which if we come over here. Uh, current home planetary systems are well documented. The true origins of the emotionless NG are a mystery. The majority of their bodies are made of trillions of nano machines, giving the illusion of silvery skin. 85% shooting, 80% melee, 125% construction, drug, smithing, smel smelting, sculpting, and 90% social. Uh, pretty good at immunity, which is good because we're here in the middle of a jungle, and uh, people are gonna die. Four sockets. I don't know what that means, but he's got four sockets. Additionally, uh, we can see he's trigger happy. He's coordinated because robots would be. And he's also an Iron Man because he's an NG who's made of iron. <laughs> uh, he's good at shooting. Uh, he loves cooking. 
and he's also has great chance of being intelligent. Uh, he's now a bounty hunter because as a child, people made fun of his lack of stash. He still has been unable to get that stash, but there's only so much you can do. Just no, no stash. <laughs> Uh, but he's also a bounty hunter as of right now, so he's pretty good at shooting, melee, crafting, and social. Next up, uh, we have Dog, the Mantis. As seen here, Mantis are very violent and hostile. <laughs> very fast, very good at melee. Uh, extra sharp damage, melee evasion. Not great at doing things, though. Uh, he also has claws, so he can punch with the best of them, I guess. And if I the camera plays with me a little bit here... Um, additionally, we didn't really have too much to go on with Dog, other than he really wants to eat kicks. And that's, that's pretty much, which is, uh, McBill, by the way. Uh, so, he's a cannibal and masochist, and he just really wants to murder. That's, that's it. He's an orphan of war, and a space pirate who wants to murder. That's, that's about it. I mean, that, that's pretty on par with Mantis. Mantis love murder, so... His job will be to go around and melee sheep to death, I guess. And then I, uh, I have me here, which uh, I just I picked human man because kind of had to pick someone else. I, I didn't know who to pick really. Uh, and additionally, uh, it's just regular human, baseline human, nothing special about this. Uh, I picked pilot and I gave myself a hat, and apparently that hat is a shield, I guess. I, I just wanted a, I wanted a pilot hat. I gave him a pilot uniform and a pilot shirt. <laughs> so I gave him a pilot hat, which apparently is a shield. I'm not sure if that's good because I have guns. Who knows? Um, Starfire pilot, of course, VidTube star as a child. Very good at making pasta cooking guides. Um, Eagle-eyed, industrious with bloodlust. Those were random. Actually, actually, everything for this has been random. I didn't really edit my guy all that much. Um, additionally... That's only four. I got... It was either seven or eight uh, characters total. They're not here yet. They will be coming. I have a mod that makes it so when events happen, like Wanderer shows up, I can customize who shows up. So I have three or four, I don't remember the exact count, of people more or less waiting in a queue somewhere. So when we get random events and have people show up, they get to show up. So uh, if you're not here yet, you'll be here in... 7 to 14 days, because that's what the mod default is. And, if anyone else would like to join in, I can add new characters whenever, because I actually have a uh, character editor here. <laughs> so I can edit anyone at any time. So if I ever, uh, if anyone else wants a character in here, and a random guy shows up, I can just edit him and add whoever. Alright. Finally, maybe we, uh, maybe we should get around to looking at this map. Okay. It's, <laughs> it's mostly mountain. All right. Hmm. Interesting. That's not really much of a C. I was kind of hoping for a C. I do have the re-roll here, but I'm not going to do re-rolls. I think we're just going to live with this. There's a cave with some boomalopes in there. All right. Probably not going to live there. Do have to worry... What is... Why is there, like, goop on this? Kimfuel pond? 750 Kimfuel units left. Okay. Uh, we probably want to go steal this bed. Is it good? It's a poor bed. Poor bed is still better than no bed, I guess. Elephants, more cave systems. I don't see any, uh... Oh, there's a multi-analyzer. I'd love to take that. Armchair, standing lamp. There is a building. Maybe we'll come over here. This won't be the worst place, I guess. To start with. I mean, it is right next to the Ancient Danger, but hopefully we can maybe co-op the Ancient Danger. Um, I guess we'll... Yeah, this is probably the best place. We don't want to be here because enemies will just walk through that way. This way, they at least have to come through the cave. And I can, like, bar off the cave. Maybe even bar it off and then fill it full of insects. So if anyone comes down from over here, they, uh, they get mauled. Oh, there are insects up here already. Alright, not going up there. Uh, gotta make sure my guys don't water up there, too. So there is a lot of random debris scattered around. I've added lots of debris. Um, question is, I should have... There should be one more item around here somewhere. Excuse me, where did you put... 
Where did you put? There's my steel. Is it gonna be in a box? I have no idea. I've never even looked at it. There should be a clone bay around here somewhere. Clone bay. There we go. Clone vat. Same same thing. Clone a man. Um, clone spits requires at least one meat grinder. So I, I need stuff before I can actually do anything with it. But it means if someone were to, I don't know, accidentally eat someone else, uh, <laughs> it wouldn't be the end of the world. Uh, just just imagine that came from the starship. Alright, well, let's probably just maybe undraft. Also, I want to check this helmet real quick. That's still shield melt. Or shield met. Um, a single person energy shield device. Contrary to the shield belt, this device will attempt to stop hits instead of damages. Means it can either, vi or either blocks four squirrel scratches or four rockets. Um, default shield recharge is very weak. A shield bench is required to recharge. Okay. Okay, so it'll keep recharging. I wonder if I can shoot through that. I don't know. We have we have enough food for four days, by the way. Plan was guns, a little bit of steel, a little bit of components. That's actually more components than I added. It's weird. Um, clone bay, and that's about it. We're we're gonna have to go by the seat of our teeth here. Mantis is just gonna have to smash with his hands. Uh, let's see. Of course, McBeal here gets the big iron, the hand cannon. Um, who's actually the best at the murder? Eleven, or okay, we're both equal. Um, I, I guess I got eagle eyes, so I got better accuracy. I'll take the rifle then. Equip the. It's a scatter gun, so I'm not sure that's really gonna help. You get the charge pistol. Uh, let's go ahead and allow this stuff. We need to allow the steel over here. Plenty of ship chunks to pull apart. Um. Anything else? We oh, there's some steel over here too. I guess the steel is just kind of scattered about randomly. We have a bed here. It's a poor bed. Um, more poor beds, more or less. There was a good yeah. There's a good one, but it's a little damaged. Uh, that's that's about it. On that chem fuel pond, there could be areas down here that we don't know of yet. That is a possibility. Let's go ahead and start the running. People's gonna go around and equip things. Uh, first things first, we wanna come here to zone. We wanna stockpile zone. Uh, we'll just make it like here for right now. If everyone do that, actually, first things first. We need to actually come over here. To, I keep saying first things first. <laughs> that keeps happening. Here you go, the work tab. Manual priorities. So, what we want is we want to have everyone doing everything at all times. If you need to be fixed, you need to be fixed immediately. Firefighting, same way. Um, that is kind of an issue. We don't have a doctor. Uh, just rub some dirt on it. <laughs> That's all we can do. Uh, we do have some hackers. We don't really care about that right now. Bed rest is two. If, th if things are on fire, put the fire out. Um, where is regular hauling? Hauling's here. For right now, I think we're gonna have dog on the hauling. I mean, everyone's gonna be doing hauling. We need to figure out who's gonna construct. You're hauling for right now, and then secondary loot planning, which I think you can do. Um, can I? Who who can construct? I can construct. Okay. I should be doing construction baseline. Um. Then that's all we're gonna. Uh, we should probably get someone to plant. Does anyone know how to plant anything? Uh, McBill is closest we can get to planting. And Slug Boy loves to light fires. That's about it. He can't even haul, which means he gets to uh, he gets to entertain and warden a lot. I guess he can hunt. So, <laughs> there's been a lot of pause here. Because we're going to unpause and they're all going to just scatter and do things. Before we do anything, you have a gun, right? Yeah, and you're cleaning dirt. I instead want you to come and pop this door. Claim it. Let's let's see if it's, there's anything in here. It could just be empty. I, I don't know if there's going to be enemies in here. I know there's enemies in here. 
could be anything in here, really. It's just a bed. It's a bed, but there's farther in here, which we can't see. Um, can you go ahead and mine this, please? I don't have the mining. I think I have to actually tell him to mine that. Orders, mine, mine, there we go. You, can you now force mine? Not assigned to mining. This, eh, okay, fine. That's why you put everything to four. That way you can force them to do something. Lots and lots of fours. I, I know, we're gonna have so many fours. We'll be there eventually. Hunter lacks range weapon, that's fine, who cares. Now, mine that marble. <laughs> oh, he's bad. Is he just staring at the marble? Does he have no mining at all? He has no mining. <laughs> He'll be done tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Um, you're going to go get some steel. I want to claim and uninstall and then reinstall down here. We're going to go ahead. Can I, can I get a claim tool in here? Claim tool. Claim tool right here. Claim it all. So that's another bed for us. Let's claim that. We're not gonna claim that just yet. That's uh, that's a bunch of money. And the way RimWorld works is your uh, your difficulty actually scales off how much money you have. As weird as that is, so just claiming this immediately could cause some issues. I would like to also claim, uninstall, reinstall. Everyone's just gonna sleep here in the middle of the forest. <laughs> Tomorrow, maybe, we'll get uh, doors up. Let's probably take the good bed. Claim. Reinstall. Um, Here. Is that... That's four beds for everyone. Everyone's got a bed now. Everyone can go start on their task. You are going to go... You're still hauling. We do need to start some planting. So while they're hauling, let's come over here and find planting zones. Fishing zones? We can fish? What does that do? Choose catch. Small, medium, or large... Yeah, but we don't really want fish right now, I don't think. Bass, eel, trout, anglerfish, and haddock. Oh, and mackerel and pufferfish. Interesting. Okay. I wonder if that's on... Uh, well, that's farming or that's hunting? Do you farm the fish or do you hunt the fish? Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and just make this. We're gonna make, we're gonna make like something like that. Nope, nope. Unfortunately, cannot hit Control Z in this video game. Video game does not allow for the word Control Z. It's here, and then this here, and we're gonna do rice. Rice is the fastest and easiest to make, especially for someone with no skill. So, rice it is. I can find the rice. I found it every other time. We also need to go about making a roof over this. Everything's got to start deteriorating because it's underneath. Is it a jade plant? Oh, there's a jade plant. Area revealed. Ooh, there's another bed in there. Excellent. We'll go ahead and claim that. Claim. Claim. Um, I would like to build a copy here and then deconstruct that. And build a copy here. That'll get us two rooms at least. It'll be weird and claustrophobic. But uh, we'll have some rooms. But we need to go to zone. We need to go to build roof area. A little bit of roof right there. He's off planting some rice. What's everyone doing? Might as well just get rid of the ancient danger. We're not going to look at that anytime soon. Get rid of that. Don't forget the clone bay. You fools. Go grab this. And... Well, we don't have any way to actually power it or do anything with it right now. we got to start working on research. I have some hollow foam. Airtight slab of hollow foam. Nah, it doesn't really help me right now. Five finger fillet table. <laughs> um... 
While this activity leads to cuts on the fingers of players, it also slowly trains melee. Can I... Can I restrict that to just this guy? <laughs> that may work. Let's see, do I have a construction down? I do have a construction down. Yeah, you're on... Oh, there's a fishing. Ah, okay. I'll put that as number one for you as well. Because right now he's just cleaning. And Colony needs beds. It's 12... That should be just noon, right? I, I think it works in uh, 24. Yeah, 24. I don't, I don't think it's 12 and 12. There's no AM, PM. It's just straight 24s. Dog is very slowly hauling some beds down here. I guess we don't need all of them anymore. It's too late now. Let's see. I am going to build a roof. <laughs> There's uh, some marsh here. What uh, what wildlife do we have running around here? Elephants, rhinoceros, rhinoceri, boomalope, jag. There's a single jaguar. There are some predators. Um, uh, panthers, mega spiders, alpaca, tapirs, cassowaries, boars, cobras, monkeys, chinchillas, rats. Probably no hunting just yet. Did you uninstall that bed and then not bring it? <laughs> Is that why you were doing? You madman. We need to uh, we need to actually work on some wood cutting. Chop some of that wood. Who who would be good at wood cutting? Uh plant cut. Really big bill. So after he's done planting the rice so we don't starve to death in three days. Uh he can do that. Alright, yep. Maybe how about maybe not play with the clouds right now? It's not cloud time. Right now, it's work time. It is work time for the foreseeable future until 20, and then you can have two hours of break. Oh, by the way, you actually get less sleep. <laughs> Welcome to the camp of war crimes. <laughs> no sleep for anyone. Everyone is a little bummed out, but, you know, we don't have very much right now, so we'll be fine with it. no tables. It'll be a minute. Could you, like, woodcut instead of... I'm terrible at this. I'm just so bad. <laughs> hey, slow. I know you're terrible at everything, but don't be cleaning right now. Cleaning is not what it's like. You're just cleaning the dirt. Just, just do the rocks. You're just cleaning rocks right now. You actually have to get to work. I know you don't want to get to work, but you got to get to work. You got to imagine this tree is a money tree. Chop it down. You'll get the money. I would exchange ideas about romance with McBill. Interesting. What about the oh, socials? Any, any socials here? Uh, let's go to the topic of generation chips with Slug Boy. Chat about practicing with pi or with Pikes with Dog. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought I thought it was like stabbing dogs. No, it's the idea of using the weapon uh, Pike with Dog. Pr practicing that. That's foreboding. <laughs> Joked about food. Hmm. May need to get that clone bay online. <laughs> A little sooner than I'd like. Do does this give me anything? We do have the option to uh, stare at things, and it will tell us new uh, stuff about it. So tell me, tell me the plants, maybe. No. What does record? I think people is a target is unobserved. Does it only work on... Ah, you gotta do it on that guy. You can probably just... Okay, I can just do that for those. I got you. Observe him. Tell me the secrets. Just stare deep into his eyes. Okay, he's done it. <laughs> now, where would that be? Quests, world, history... Rimpedia, here we go. We've looked at the cassowary. So we've uh, we've observed a little bit. As we observe more, we actually get better at doing things. So we know that he explodes into meat and to sweet, sweet bird skin. Um, he's either in the, the swamp or the rainforest. 
That information is locked. So it looks like we're going to have to uh, observe him a couple more times. He's pretty easy to observe. What about, uh, what about like this guy? Can we observe him? Open Rampedia. Only normal difficulty, really. What about you? Also normal. Interesting. I don't know, uh, is that going to be in research? It can, uh, maybe writing. Perform writing work, maybe. Maybe it's the writing. You're not very good at prioritization, are you? <laughs> it's the helmet. He can't think straight. He's just seeing triangles everywhere. It gets directly into his brain. I need a platypus. Good old platypus friend. Is that bananas? Is that bananas? That's bananas. That could be food. We've almost gone all the rice planted. Which uh, we should probably actually observe. Hey, what are you gonna do? You're gonna haul some wood. Let's actually... I wanna have you observe the rice. Maybe if we can uh, observe this, get some boost to the rice first off. I had observe this one too. Observe! You must observe the rice. Did, did I already observe the rice already? Like, no. Um, this creature will not appear. Alright, we need 30%, so we need more observation for the rice. What about slug, slug man? You wanna go observe that rice? Are we just going to have that icon there forever? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know how, how else to observe something. I, I am unprepared for the observations. Am I really down to eight? Did they eat that much already? This is why we need to get... <laughs> we need to get everything up. We need to get this rice. Okay, at least everyone's going to have a bed for tonight. They're not going to yell at that. He's trying. Oh, he is trying. He's not very good at it. <laughs> you can arrest him. I don't want that. How do I go about observing more? Hmm. Oh, we get a boost for doing it, but then also if we harvest, we get some. So we, we also have to just... Um, what's the grow time? Do another grow time? Lifespan's 24 days. It'll die after that, I guess. I don't know the grow time. I guess we don't know that yet. So as we harvest this, we'll actually get more experienced. Let's see, is there any uh, any food that's already ready around here? Oh yeah, we got we got to pull these in. Those are gonna start dying. Just uh, just stargazing down there, staring directly into that beautiful star. Starry sky full of angry ships that want to kill us. Never got around to building that door, so someone's going to have to shut our bunkhouse. Does this even count as inside? It does. Title, Mindful Cabbage. By Bryce Bruce Fire. Furniture is engraved with an illustration of Bryce Bruce Fire avoiding a falling ceiling that pulverizes everything beneath it. He has lost his balance. The lower part of the image is dominated by a stone. Illustration relates to Bruce dodging a cave-in on the 15th of August, 5,260. 300 year old bed. Hmm. Interesting. Oh. Um. A Jack. Jackward? Jaquard? Jack Valos. Logan of Orange. The engraving of this furniture depicts a massive red fireball. Shredding rocks and debris as it flies. Thousands of figures prepare tools and equipment. The lower part of the image is dominated by eight singers. The image refers to a meteorite falling near Logan City on the 13th of September. 5095. That's even... These beds were built like... <laughs> they were built like, what? 150 years apart? It's crazy. I wonder why is these two... Like, it's ancient beds. It's so weird because these beds were the ones that were like in there. Where is? Where you... Oh, he's still chop. He's trying. <laughs> he's trying. He wants the tree. How, how's how's your uh, your plant cutting coming? He's barely heard of it. If he stares at the tree long enough, maybe it'll come down. 
we'll just uh, speed things up a little bit. <laughs> it took him a while. Hey, he's probably hungry, right? Yeah, he's hungry and bored, and he needs sleep. And he needs a better bedroom. I mean, he's gonna get this. It's better than anyone else's bedroom. Let's go ahead and uh, set set him as the owner. Um, I can, I can move the chair in there. That may make him a little... Dude, just go to bed. <laughs> Why did you go clean up that random dirt? Why would you do that? Now he, he's gone into the, the deep snooze. So let's go ahead and skip to morning. Nothing we can do now. I mean, we can watch the bugs. They have food in here. I don't... Yeah, they're, they're dormant. So uh, until I run up here, they won't try and murder me. I hope. They may murder random animals that come in. I don't know. Auto save. Can we uh, use these for anything? Maybe. Um, it dies when exposed to light. Oh, they're be okay. I can use this underground. Okay. Rimpedia, very helpful. Very nice mod. Pretty, pretty sure that's a mod. <laughs> um. Pretty, pretty sure it is. Is the wooden wall really that hard to repair? I wouldn't think a wooden wall would take that hard, like that much to repair. Are you just not very good at construction? You're like okay at construction. You're capable. You're at least a little capable. Is this wood? That it, this could be another room. We need to uh, we need to mine that out. Should probably just mine out both of these. This will be a room. I wonder how I wonder if this goes deeper. I don't know because that looks like it was a wall, but there's wooden floor here. I could go deeper in there. I mean, I'm coming about burglars. Okay, so we're getting all the wood. We're getting the doors. Is that that's compacted machinery. That's nice. I think we've uh, carried everything back already. There may be steel hidden somewhere. Maybe. I think for right now, you're still kind of angry, aren't you? Recreation deprived. He is no longer hungry. He's got that initial optimism. He doesn't care much for his barracks, and he's... Why? Did you not go to bed? <laughs> can I make him go to bed? I can make him... Like, I can prioritize... He's gonna just... He's gonna start lighting fires is what's gonna happen. Maybe two days into this thing, he's gonna start lighting fires. I want you to go hunt, actually. I think what we want to do is, um, that's three out of four char or charges. We want to make a little room where we can make food at. So, let's keep it, put it here, right next, yeah, we'll, we'll put it here. And then, uh, actually, we'll probably put it right here. This can be our freezer, and then this can be our construction room where we make stuff. So let's go ahead and get a butcher table. Put it there. It's outdoors. That's fine. And electric stove. I guess we'll do an electric stove, and then we'll try and make some power. Because we are space guys, we should be able to make some amount of power. I guess we can't make solar power, but we can make wind turbines. Just something. Oh, where am I going to put the wind turbine? It's not going to work very well. <laughs> uh, well, you put it over crops, can't you? It's going to eat the crop. you got to put it like... Uh, put the crops too close together. I'm going to put it right here. I don't think that's too bad. I can put crops on the other side as well. And then we're going to have to build... Or I'm just queuing up everything, really. Power conduits. Waterproof. Oh, that's underwater. Okay. And build some of this, some of that. And that way that will be powered. And then you... I know you're cleaning dirt. I actually want you to go murder. Like this rat 
And you don't have a you don't have a gun though. I think I think we're just gonna we're gonna draft you into combat and just see how you can combat. Go mainly attack this man. Let's see if those razor sharp claws do you any good. Mantis versus rats. 